for being here with us at this moment, this very important moment. And I want to thank uh, my partners uh, in this endeavor, Doreen and Akim, and their teams for the incredible work uh, that we've been able to do together. Uh, I have only three points to share with you as reflection from the day. First, uh, the importance of connection. And as we heard in the video, uh, it's not about connecting the circuits, it's about connecting the people. So it's the connections across people, uh, people from different geographies, different backgrounds, different sectors, different lived experiences. We can only get the digital future right if we connect people. The other second point that I take away from the day is the importance of not retreating into silos. Everything is connected. We can't deal with AI without dealing with data. We can't deal with either without dealing with digital public infrastructure and connectivity and so on. So we need to take a holistic view. And the last point I want to share is the importance of humility. I think we need to listen more than we speak. Uh, all of us who are in the policy space need to be very, very humble about what their understanding of technology is, what... Uh, its implication. We need to work together. We need to constantly update ourselves uh, and hang out with the right people so that we can bring their insights, their valuable insights, into our policy work and improve the quality of our policy responses. So thank you very much. It's a very exciting moment. It's a very sobering moment at the same time. There's a lot of work ahead, but with you, we can get there. Thank you. Thank you so much. Achim, you can speak at the podium or on your microphone. It's up to you. I'll just use the microphone and thank you. I will not use the teleprompter because um, it's really just two things that I want to say. One is a really big thank you. You and we and all of us in the UN today had a treat. We listened to presidents, to CEOs, to young entrepreneurs, to artists, to people who together with science, engineering, technology are able to walk again at least with the help of technology. We've had an extraordinary day, and I hope that what you can take away from this SDG Digital Day and also this prospect of AI that to all of us is still a somewhat unknown, even though we know it is going to be central to our lives as we think into the future, is this age of possibility. There is so much in the world right now that makes everyone feel like they live under a cloud, and sometimes you lose perspective. I think today, I hope you all got a sense of what an extraordinary age we live in. And if we make the right choices, what an extraordinary age it can be for the next generation and for everyone. In that spirit, I want to thank Amandeep, I want to thank Doreen, our staff who have actually been working for weeks on all of this, and everybody else who supported this day today by turning it into something that I hope the United Nations will always be known for. Even in the darkest days, there is hope and it will be done, and it will be led by people. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Akim, and thank you, Amandeep, and indeed, it has been an extraordinary, extraordinary day. Sustainable, inclusive, responsible. Three concepts at the heart of our digital track during the Summit of the Future Action Days. And I would like to add to that hope. Because nothing gives me more hope for our shared digital future than all of you. Our brilliant innovators, our partner to connect pledgers, our digital game changers, you showed us technology can be co-created with the people it's built for, involving them directly as decision makers in design. You showed us how to make digital work with the lived realities of people in developing countries and underserved and vulnerable populations. You showed us how emerging tech from augmented reality to AI can help boost our planet's resilience while supporting climate action. You showed us how digital skill building can lead to decent work and economic prosperity in the unlikeliest of places against all odds. You showed us what peace tech can do to rescue the SDGs. 
You even showed us how much it will take, literally, in investment to connect everyone, everywhere, by 2030 through the Connecting Humanity Action Blueprint mentioned by Saudi Arabia. And you showed us your commitment to do what it takes through new Partner to Connect pledges. And I thank you for those new pledges. Ladies and gentlemen, we are the SDG generation. A digital future full of hope, possibility, and ambition is in our hands. And I want to thank each and every one of you for giving us a glimpse today. You gave us a glimpse of what is possible. We may have come to the end of our first Digital Action Day, our second SDG Digital, but the action certainly does not stop here. It can't, because too much is at stake. Fired up by hope, let's take everything that we've learned today. Let's go out there and let us build a more sustainable, inclusive, and responsible digital future for all. And let's build it together. Thank you.